Uh, hello, Commando users. It is Wilson419. And I'm making a continuation of my take apart video with a put back together video because I'm sure those can be uh, pretty useful. So, again, um, I'm only starting from the motherboard part because that's where I left off in my uh, last video. So, um, we're going to go from there and we're going to put this thing back together. So, the first thing we want to do is put in the motherboard. Um, to put in the motherboard, you want to basically do the reverse of what you did before. You want to go slide it in. Obviously, get the speaker screws out of the way. As this is going in, you need to take a screwdriver and keep these port, keep these uh, cables from going underneath it as you're putting it in. And at the same time, push in so that your uh, U so that your USB port can. Um, get underneath and slide in like that. So then you want to come back, get these out, and then push in, and then it just kind of slides in and stays in just like that. Alright? Just that. So, after that, you uh, want to start putting it, putting it back together by putting down these connectors, pop those in, pop in those bad boys, kind of push down and they'll eventually go in. That's kind of difficult at first actually. There we go, got those in. All right, so step after that is to put in your motherboard screws. So you take each one of those, really small, take each one of those and basically put it in back to where they were originally. is to, you want to take the speaker wires and put them back into that little square with holes in it and you, then you reconnect them back into their original spots. Um, unless, of course, if your left speaker plays on the right side and your right speaker plays on the left side, a way to fix that is that you can just switch the plugs. But I mean, I think Cassie would have done a better job making those phones than that. But, you know, it's Cassie I are talking about here. That's back in there. Come on. Alright. Get it in. Put it back into this little box with holes. So you can uh, close it. Right, those are in. Alright. So the next step, after you get the, the board back in, screwed in and everything, is that you want to take that rubber seal and put it on completely and correctly onto the little lip inside the board. Now, I'm going to pause the video and do that myself here because it's probably going to take a while. So, uh, yeah, but a quick trick that I found, I, I took it off for you guys to show you this. So, a quick trick that I found is that you want to take this piece off, you want to take this, this front piece, if you're having trouble getting it in there, you want to take that off on both sides. In order to do that, you go to the front here, put your flathead right inside there, and just kind of push. And it'll, it will, either one of two things will happen. Either one, it'll make a sound and come out, or two, you won't get anything. And if that happens, you want to go to the side where it's connected, and you want to take a flathead and just pry that out. Use your thumb to hold it, and then go out. You should hear a snap, that means that's out. Once you hear a snap that's out, you just kind of pry it out. Do the same for the other side. Comes out. And then this piece, this piece as well, comes out. Just like that. 
Now it's much easier to get the rubber seal back on. All right, so once you got the uh, once you got the rubber seal on, finally, you uh, take the cover and very very carefully align it just right so that it just slides on without messing up the rubber seal. And then you push down on it, make sure that seal is in there. Once you got this main piece on, you want to put this small piece on by having it align so that the there's like this inside piece here corresponds to the inside of here and just kind of put it on different ways until it fits on and it lines up perfectly. It's gonna be like this. I know this isn't the best uh, quality, but it's gonna look like that. Then you can take this piece and just literally slide it back. Oh, whoops, there we go. And you literally just slide it on back into the phone. Take these little pieces here. Hold on, I'll show that again just in case it didn't, didn't come out there. Um, try that again just in case it didn't come out for, the, for you guys. Um, slide it right in. Try to look at it from this angle. Slide it in. And then you push this in until you hear a click. It's going to be a very faint click, but it's there. And then same on this side. So now we proceed to the next step. All right, now we're moving on to the next step. The next step is that you get your Phillips head screwdriver and then put these screws back in here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So, all right, next one, you take a small screw, put it in the side there. And then get the one on the top, and it's not, it's right, uh, right next to the power button, right there. Now, this isn't going to come out on video, so I'm not going to bother. So now that you got all these screws in and such, um, the next step is to put these back in. So for you put in you put in the uh, the, the headphone cover, cover there. To put that in, you need to just kind of push it in, and then it just kind of just push it in like that, and then it just kind of goes in like that, it stays in. Um, the USB cover goes on the side, pretty easy, you know, you just kind of put it in. This one isn't going to actually stay in yet until you uh, put more of the case together, but might as well have it in there. Um, the next step, take your uh, volume, volume buttons and tactile key, put those in, and make sure you put them in so that the uh, all the little holes match up because you need those. Oops, there we go. Um, same thing for the power button. I don't know how well this one's going to come out, but you basically do the same thing. You put it back in where the power button goes and press it down. It should stay there. Then you take the bottom of the case and put the bottom on. Final part of this, you put the front of the case back on. It should just snap into place like everything else. Everything else we have done just far. Make sure when it uh, snaps into place here. I'll show you again. I know it didn't come out that well. Really fast this. All right. 
So when you put this in, put it in on this side first, so that it, so that this the the little the little lip onto this magnetic thing, whatever it is, goes in first to keep to keep that in. Push that in, and then everything else can go in around it. You put just put put the uh, final screws back in. And the phone is back together. And to prove to you that it works, I'm gonna go grab a battery, power it on. Got the uh, touch, touch works, screen works, you know, all the important features. Obviously, there's no uh, SIM card, so I can't show you any cellular service or anything because I'm using my SIM card. But uh, yeah, there you go. So, power button works. You got the volume up, volume down, tactile key. So, there you go. And that is how you take apart and put back together the Casio Commander 4G.